by Goodman. Out to Currents now on the three. Kendall Currents that time lets it fly in the wing and a 7-0 run here for the Huskies to start things off. Down to 10 already though. Currents out to Motema. Good closeout, but she knocks it down anyhow. And this would be the worry if you sub Calabrese and Kick out of the corner here. The three is knocked down by Tinsley, her second make. From and Kiki Jefferson play on the outside if they want and get some momentum to the bucket. May floats one up and finishes in the paint. Her in the opening three minutes 20 in this quarter. Not losing ground, not gaining ground. Here's Jefferson trying to change that, and she does. Gets to the elbow and puts it home. Category, but you can't do it when the ball's going to Kiki Jefferson. The suicide steal becomes just that. All around the rim and down! Oh, Donna Tambu with the end one. In, back out to Soriano, sees the defense slide over, finds an opening in the corner for three, and Camille Clement knocks it down looks that have been missing through the first 17 minutes currents turn around at the oh. free throw line she's heating up kendall currents she's got nine now to lead out discrepancy last time it's a 14 point discrepancy right now here's green that one all the way up and down and finally back down she's starting to heat up herself that's three lamar tambu offensive rebound May, she gets an open look now from the top and cashes it in. Katie May, the fourth leading three-point shooter in the CAA. First matchup. Duke's looking for a last second shot and it's cashed off the glass for Brianna Tinsley. So that'll add some drama to this one. Listen in that first half, here's Currents. That's her shot, she gives it up instead, and for good reason. Katie May, wide open. And as long as they don't, they're going to have an almost impossible task ahead of them. Nice floater that time as Hazel gets in to the paint amongst the trees and is able out. Thinking about it there was Tinsley instead. She gets inside and is pure on the mid range. Chance to make it a two possession game with a basket. Hazel. Right down the floor, the other end, and one. But Current's trying to get into a gap where there really just wasn't enough space. The screen was set in too good a position. Oderkirk for three, got it! Steph Oderkirk knocked down from the corner. They had a tough non-conference schedule. Some injuries happened, they realized it couldn't happen, and then the goals have been shifting since. As Cap on Cape Cod, there's a senior at Cape Cod Academy right now named Jaden Greenleaf, who is about 27 points away as Currents nets two right there and flexes on the uh, remarkable target right there, and it's all going to be for naught. Currents and one gets the inbound and goes right off glass. Through. Props for what she was able to do defensively as Motema all the way up the floor gets the easy look. 65 49. How about this way back out? It comes to Tinsley. Kick to the corner. Three for Oderkirk. And she knocks it down. So the final deficit will be 13. But that is the two lowest scoring games this season in CAA play for James Madison Northeastern. Both times holds them to 50 and now 52 points. 